well hello again and welcome back to my channel this is not going to be such a long video i promise this is actually the video i was talking about yesterday that i would be back with um the review so the doll came today that i am reviewing and i'm going to do a review on here they don't want me to do the review on Amazon until the fifth day after I have her but I'm gonna do this one now and get it out of the way so that's what I'm gonna do so um, let me start by you know I figured you'd be like why are we staring at an empty boppy pillow well <laughs> um, I opened the box but I have not taken her out yet and I just wanted to show you guys that um, this here is the card that came with her and I know that there's gonna be lots of other people out there probably doing these reviews um, the name of the company uh, yeah it's really hard to pronounce <laughs> but it's right there Karu case or Karu case I think is what it is something like that anyways um, <laughs> I'll put the name in the description box, but um, they can be found on Amazon. Um, they do have an official store where you can purchase these babies. Um, they are full platinum silicone dolls, and their pricing is really, really good on these babies. Um, so if you're looking for a silicone and you like this one, um, you can always get yourself one or get one for your child or whoever else that you want to get it for but um, I'm very excited to see this I have seen reviews from this doll and I was excited about doing this so I'm going to get her out and I did check and she is anatomically correct so I am going to have to get her in a diaper prior to putting her on the boppy because I really don't want to get in trouble but anyways, she does come packaged like this. She is in a bag, and then she is in bubble wrap. Um, she was in a box, in another box, so they package her very well. Um, if any of you have dealt with companies like Iveta, you know that they do not do that. Um, I have gotten dolls from Iveta. They came in a box. The box was crushed. There was nothing protecting the doll. So I actually like and appreciate the fact that these people actually package their dolls properly. So anyways, I'm going to take her off camera for a second and just slap a diaper on her. I'm not going to look at her face or anything until we all look together. But I do not want to get in trouble for exposing <laughs> the baby. She is anatomically correct like I said um, I did look just because I wanted to see what I was dealing with here so um, and yes she's definitely anatomically correct so like I said I do not want to get in trouble so I'm going to put a diaper on her if I can get her bottom half out of here anyways all right I'm gonna have to take her out of the bag I cannot I cannot do this through the bag I promise I'm not looking at her face I just need to get I will stick something over her face actually so I don't cheat because <laughs> I don't want to see her until she's revealed but I do want to get the bottom half of her covered up properly. She's got a real, oh, she's got a really cute little bottom. She's, she's so soft. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let me get this on her real quick and then we will look at her together. I don't even know if this is going to be the right size diaper. I just grabbed it out of my nursery so that I could cover her up. <laughs> That's all I care about is getting her covered up. Yeah, she probably could have. This is a um, 
bigger diaper than she needed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just put the diaper over her and then I will take it off when it's time to reveal her. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, sorry. Um, I put that over her face <laughs> so that nobody could see her. Um, and I noticed that we are just a little bit too close. So let me see if I can... Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. For some, my tripod keeps wanting to turn the phone. Okay. Anyways, so um, there she is so far. And she's very, very soft. She's very, very, very squishy. And her coloring, she's... She's a lot more pink than a lot of the babies that I've seen. Um, her little nails are tipped. Her little nails are tipped and she does have some light painting. Um, she does have a little belly button, which is down here. <laughs> uh, she is anatomically correct. I like the way her little wrinkles are in her legs and when when she doesn't have the diaper on and she's just laying down flat she lays more like a real baby than a lot of the other silicones that I've had uh, she does have painting on the bottom of her feet and she does have seams on the side but all silicone babies have the seams on the side, but she's very soft, very nice. And we're gonna look at her face in just a second. Sorry, I just had to shut my door. Um, so, are we ready for the reveal? <laughs> this is an open-eyed baby. She does have her eyes open. So let's see what she looks like. Run, two, three, go, off. There she is. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her face. Oh my goodness. The only thing I'm going to have to do, she does have rooted eyebrows. That is really different for a silicone doll. She has rooted eyebrows. Her eyelashes are a little bit long. Actually, they're more than a little bit long. They're long, but I will trim them. I like the way her little mouth looks. She looks really, really cute. Um, <clears throat> I know that they make this doll in a boy and in a girl, and she is 18 or 19 inches long. I'm not positive which, I know she's 18 or 19 inches. She is a newborn size. Um, she's a good size. She's a good coloring. Um, everything is, let me see if I can, she, it was, she weighs about seven pounds, so she's a realistic weight there is her face and I actually saw this on uh, in love with reborns 2011 um, her head she has an armature in her neck and you can actually tilt her head and it will stay in that position which is actually really cute for when you want to do pictures um, that's awesome I think she's adorable and she came with she came with a little outfit but I don't think I'm going to put her in this um, I actually have an outfit that I got out to put on her um, but I'll show you what came with her <clears throat> uh, she came with this little onesie and a little hat with ears on it a little bunny hat so that is what you would see on her if you go to the website and look at her picture um it's cute it, you know what that'd be really cute for an easter outfit maybe that's what i'll put it away for for an easter outfit but yes that did come with her and she also came with 
Let me see if I can get this thing open. I just love when you can't open these packages. I'm just trying to get the stuff out. Now, I don't think I'm going to be using these just because. Um, they're, they're, you know the things they, they are, they come with, and they're, it's tiny too. It comes with like little baby dolls that you get for kids. They're the little disappearing juice bottle and the little disappearing milk sippy cup. Uh, I mean, that's just, <laughs> it's not realistic. I'll probably just keep this in with my toddler things for them to play with when I do their videos and she also comes with a pacifier which is blue she's a girl so I'm probably going to just modify a passy for her uh, this one my goodness the handle I can't even move the handle but this one it's a doll passy it's one of the ones with the little itty bitty nipple on it which does fit in her mouth but I want her to have a pink pacifier. She is a girl. So again, I'll keep this with my toddler toys. And yeah, <laughs> that's just, that just makes a little bit more sense. So anyways, I picked out an outfit for her and I'm going to get her dressed and I will be back and I'll show you how she looks in her little outfit. Okay, look how cute she looks when she's dressed. Oh my goodness, an absolutely adorable. She is definitely cute and definitely worth the money for those of you who do want one. I would definitely recommend her. <laughs> she is so cute. Um, the male looks a little bit different than she does, I think, in the face. Um, there's a difference in the face a tiny, tiny bit. I did just trim her eyelashes, by the way. Um, which, if you get one, you're probably going to want to do the same thing. But, yeah. Here she is. She is so cute. She is so stinking cute. Um... She's definitely going to be a part of my baby collection. She is by far my favorite silicone, I think, that I've had. <laughs> I just, I love her coloring. She's awesome. Um, don't know what I'm going to call her yet. I need to come up with a name. And I have no idea right now. But I will come up with something. Um... I am bad with coming up at names for the for the dolls. Um, I like to use something that. Oh, by the way, I was going to tell you her mouth. You can fit a modified passy in there, but it's not. Her mouth is not completely open. Um, but that doesn't even matter to me. I wouldn't want to cover her little face. I think her little mouth is really cute, anyways. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And like I said, I'm going to I'm going to put the name of the company in the description box so that if anyone wants to purchase one, you can. Um their price range is like around $200, a little over $200, which like I said, for a silicone baby and her quality is really really well. Um she's not sticky at all she's really smooth I don't know if they put something on her um, I guess time will tell after she is bathed and everything else um, we'll see if she is still as smooth but right now she was like silky smooth her clothes went on without a problem hoping that it stays that way but either way I can say that I'm very pleased with her and I would highly recommend her so go check out their website like I said I will put the name of the company down in the description box they do have a store on Amazon where you can find them 
and you will find um, the open and the closed eyed babies where you can choose which one that you prefer. I just, I wanted the open eyed. I think that, um, that it's, I think it's cute when they can just lay there and look like they're looking around just like a little baby would. But some of you might prefer the sleeping dolls. But anyways, I, like I said, I don't want to make this a very long video. I just wanted to reveal her to you guys and show her to you and let you know what I think of her. And then if you decide to buy one, you'll see for yourself. But she's very, very cute. Um, and again, description box will have her store name because trying to pronounce that name is really difficult <laughs> as you saw I showed it to you and before I leave this video um, I also wanted to let you all know that the kit that I was talking about that I purchased to paint and sell I just wanted to let you know that that came in as well. And as soon as I'm finished painting these kits that I am painting for someone else, um, I'm actually going to get started on this one so that I can put it up for sale. I just wanted to show you real quick before I get off of this video what, what she looks like. If some of you may not be familiar with her kit. Um, She's really cute, though. All right, let me get let me get the limbs out of the box so that I can show you. Okay, and this baby will be for sale once I'm finished with her, just so that y'all know. Um, I did purchase this kit because she is not going to be available anymore. I've always wanted to paint this kit, and I never really. I don't know what I don't know what the deal was. I wanted to paint her, but I just never bought the kit. Um, so, anyways, it's the sugar kit, and there's the face. And I think that face is going to be absolutely adorable when it's painted. And the arms are three quarter, but really cute. I like the way her hands are. And there's the other hand. I'll show you the legs. She does have full limbs, or full legs I mean, uh, three quarter arms and full legs. So here's one leg. And I'll show you the other little one. She did come with, uh, well, she didn't come with it. I purchased the body, but the body came with the string ties, which I do not, I don't like those personally. Um, I usually replace them with zip ties. So if you want to purchase her, um, just so you know, she will not be coming with the strings. She'll be coming with the zip ties because I just don't trust those strings. And plus I found that the limbs don't move as easily with the strings as they do with the ties. So I'll be replacing those with zip ties. Anyways, so I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be making her. So if anyone is interested in purchasing the sugar doll, um, let me know. She's here and she will be looking for a mommy as soon as I get her painted. I'm just putting her away. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the new baby. And I will do another video soon. My camera is tilting like crazy. So I'm going to end this here and say have a awesome, awesome rest of your day. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. And I am going to bring my camera my baby doesn't know, or she doesn't know I'm going to do this, but I'm going to bring my camera over here. 
and we're gonna say goodbye. She she's very messy. We're gonna say goodbye while looking at Miss Snow, my birdie. Let's see if I can. I'm trying to get the screen to enlarge. There we go. This thing is so stiff. Yeah, that is my that is my little budgie. You can't tell in the picture, but she is white. <laughs> she has white and blue, and she's really pretty. And her name is Snow. And I put a couple videos of her up here before, just like little quick videos. But yeah, so that's my that's my Snow. And she is just doing what she does every day. She's playing and eating on her little treat over there that she has. She's very spoiled. She has lots of toys. She is well loved. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, you can't see all of her toys from the angle that I have this camera on right now. But I really wish this thing would loosen up. It's too... Let me see if I can loosen this without the camera flopping all over the place. It's just, wait a minute, maybe that will help. Yeah, not really. <laughs> that. Anyways, I don't know how to loosen this thing up. Anyways, let me see if I can tilt this so you can see. She has lots of stuff to do in there, lots of toys to play with. She is a spoiled little bird, and... She never gets bored in there. I take her out and she stays out for a little while and then she flies back to the cage because she wants to go back in the cage and play. Yep. So anyways, from me and my babies and my nursery and my beautiful budgie Snow, we all say have a blessed day and we will talk to you all soon. God bless. Bye for now.